Hello my friends and welcome to The Simple Soper Life. I am Joshua and I help others make small changes in their life so that they can create a life of awesome. Happy Sunday my friends. It is the Sunday following Thanksgiving and that explains why I look like a schlum today. I am literally staying in my stretchy pants all day long because I don't know about you, the low carb thing went completely out of the window not just for Thanksgiving, but for the entire week. You know, if I do something, I have to do it right. You know, I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving. I know I did. We all pitched in and brought in some, um, some different dishes. I was in charge of the turkey and I made a fantastic honey roasted turkey. It turned out so amazing. I've literally never had turkey this moist before. And I was so nervous about it because I'd never done just a turkey breast. Uh, I'm, I'm used to doing the entire turkey and I tried a new way, so I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but everyone loved it. And Katie and Brian both said, ugh, normally we don't eat turkey, but this is fantastic. You are gonna have to keep that recipe and we are definitely going to eat turkey again. So that just filled my heart with joy. Um, Katie uh, was in charge of a lot of the sides. She made macaroni and cheese. She made mashed potatoes. She made a green bean casserole. She made stuffing. Brian was in charge of the desserts. And let me tell you, he delivered. He made so many different desserts. We had sweets coming out of our butts. And I didn't just eat one of the desserts, I ate all of the desserts. Um, nom, 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 nom. Anyway, we had a fantastic Thanksgiving and I hope you did too. Um, <clears throat> I did have to take my car in the Friday afterwards, Black Friday, um, to get more repairs done on it. They got the power st uh, steering pump put in. I'm now up over $1,500 in repairs. And they came back to me and said, oh, we did a reading on the car card on the car and there are 17 other issues wrong with it in addition to the heat, heat not working. So this car is going to cost me another at least three grand. Not gonna happen. Nope, I'm done. I'm washing my hands of it. So I'm going to be working to save up some money so I can go to a dealership, trade in this rag of a car, get whatever I can out of it, and get something that um, will at least have some sort of warranty and some sort of uh, liabi or reliability. And that way, I know if I go to a dealership and they tell me something false, I can go after them legally if need be. Unfortunately, dealing with private party, I don't have that um, option because I believe I would actually have to prove that he knew all of these things were wrong with it, even though, uh, anyway, I'm going to be washing my hands of that car as soon as possible. So that means I'm gonna have to put my, com my new computer on back on the back burner for now and and really save up for this because not only because i had to finance you know the repairs that i had to make so now i'm going to be having to make payments on that and i'm going to have to be making payments on a car although i'm looking within a budget so hopefully with the money that i save up and the trade in value of the car um you know hopefully it'll be a wash so cross your fingers that this saga will finally be over in the next month or so, <laughs> hopefully. Um, other than that, it's been such a relaxing weekend. And when I say relaxing, I mean that I have been working on my book, I've been working on uh, social media, I've been working on videos. I got the first video of the Life of Awesome Change series done, polished, and edited. It is ready to rock and roll for that December 16th launch. And if you haven't subscri subscribed to my channel yet, please do so you, so you get notified when that beautiful series 
uh, launches, when it hits, when it hits studios. Um, and also make sure to comment down below. I love to hear what you all have to say and like these videos, give them a big old thumbs up. That helps me get bumped up so other people can get value from these videos. Um, so <sighs> this long weekend is coming to a close, which means I have to get right back in that low carb mindset. No more cookies, no more crackers, no more chips and cakes and pies, at least till Christmas. <laughs> so I have three weeks to, um, to uh, re-kickstart my metabolism and get that right back going. Now, the breakfast that I have planned for this week, I've already done a video on, um, and I'll link down to that uh, in the description. Uh, it's basically just a scramble so that I can throw some in a bowl, uh, take a low carb wrap and maybe make uh, breakfast burritos. Uh, I'm just using egg, onion, peppers, um, and um, some cheese. Um, nothing major, nothing too uh, crazy. But for lunch, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And so I am making a low carb chicken Alfredo and a low carb uh, butter pasta Alfredo. Now here's the low carb part. I'm using spaghetti squash. And if you haven't ever had um, spaghetti squash, I find it to be absolutely wonderful. You know, it's got kind of a sweetness to it. And it is uh, low carb, definitely a lot lower than, you know, any of those pastas ever would be. I think it was like six or seven grams of carbs per cup. And so, you know, I'm gonna be doing that with a blackened chicken. And I decided to do the two different types of pastas just so I could mix it up a little bit during the week. You know, by Thursday eating the same thing, you're like, oh, good God, is this ever gonna end? And usually by, um, by Friday night, I still have some left over in the fridge. And I'm like, oh, I'm just done with it. Get it away from me. So I'm gonna mix it up to keep it uh, kind of fresh. I'm gonna throw in some onions, some mushrooms in there. So let's get started and see where this goes. All right, my friends. So for this dish, I've got um, mushrooms and onions are actually underneath. I'm gonna saute that with um, some olive oil and garlic. Um, for the butter garlic um, pasta, obviously we need butter and garlic. <laughs> Salt and pepper for everything. I've got the chicken, which I I marinated overnight in a, um, a blackened seasoning that my sister made. And if I can squeeze it out of her, I will make sure to get you that recipe and it will be down in the description. So that's gonna go into the oven. I also got this um, Asiago Romano Alfredo sauce. Now I did not mean to get the light version. Ugh. Every time I get the light version, I'm sorely disappointed. So hopefully this one will change my mind. It's just less fat and calories, but I'm, my main concern is carbs. And this one has three grams of carbs for every quarter a cup. So this is pretty low compared to like a regular tomato sauce. Um, and any of these like Alfredo sauces in the supermarket, this Classico, I've had like a four cheese one um, and things like that. They're all pretty good, at least the ones that I've had. Um, and they're all really low in carbs. So it's a great way to make a pasta dish or even do over chicken to do just a, a chicken and, um, and cheese type thing. So what I'm gonna start out by doing, I have my oven preheated to 350. Uh, 350. And one thing I did forget, the spaghetti squash. So spaghetti squash, like I said, is really good. It's really versatile uh, to substitute in replace of uh, noodles. So what we're gonna start off by doing is cutting that in half. So I'm gonna start by drying it off. These, um, the spaghetti squash is really, really hard to cut when it's not cooked. And it's gotten some condensation on it, which I'm afraid that uh, the thing might slip out on my hand and I would chop off a finger. And no one wants to see that. And I don't trust my car to get me to the hospital. So I'm gonna start by making an incision right down the middle here. Again, it's really hard, so go slow. And you might have to go over it a couple of times. And then just go straight down the middle. 
See what I mean? And then your knife gets stuck and you're out of luck. So just make sure to be careful with it. There we go. Good Lord. Okay. And then we'll just go back the other way. And then down the other side. And then it'll just pop open. Now, just like a pumpkin, we're going to want to scrape all this good stuff out. Mm, it smells like a gourd. Hmm. So we're just going to go through and scrape this out. I should give these guts to Callie. I bet she'd like to play with them. <laughs> she'd probably think they were gross. All right, I'm gonna put those on a baking sheet. And I guess if you like, you can roast the uh, seeds and eat those. I've never had them before, but I would imagine you can do that. I'm gonna coat it with a little bit of olive oil. Maybe a little more than a little. Kind of spread that around. Make sure to do the cut side up. I do go a little crazy with the olive oil. Ha! And then we're just gonna salt and pepper it. Now I'm gonna put both the spaghetti squash and the chicken in the oven. I've got the oven set to 350. I'm gonna put it on for about an hour, but this oven kind of runs hot. And so I'm gonna check it in about 45 minutes. Oops. Now, now, while the chicken and the spaghetti squash is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and saute up my mushrooms and my onions with a little bit of garlic. We'll let that oil get a little warm. All right, when those are good and sauteed, we'll just turn off the heat and I don't know if you could see this, just transfer them to an, a bowl. We're gonna wait until the chicken and the spaghetti squash is done. And then essentially we're just gonna mix it all together. Cool. So I'll come back when the, uh, the other stuff is done. My friends, I have pulled the chicken and the spaghetti squash out of the oven. The chicken took about 40 minutes and then the squash took about uh, the full hour. And the way that you can tell if the squash is done is if the skin is um, tenderized enough to poke a fork through. So that way you know it's cooked all the way through. Now make sure you let that spaghetti squash, uh, sp blah, 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 spaghetti squash rest so that it can cool down. And then we're just gonna take a fork and start scraping it into spaghetti strips. So let's see if we can do that now. All right, that spaghetti squash is pretty cool now. It's still a little warm, but um, all we do is go through and we'll just scrape. Ooh, it's a little warmer than I thought. 
go through and scrape it out. Yeah, I'm gonna need some, a towel or something. Sorry, I'm a delicate flower when it comes to things being too hot. <laughs> and then we just scrape it out. See how it comes out in spaghetti noodle type looking things? All right, so we've got our noodles done. And then we're basically just gonna toss everything in there. Um, and one thing I forgot and I bought was sun-dried tomatoes. I was gonna throw them in here just for a little zhuzh and a little color, but I totally forgot them. So we're gonna have to work with that next time. So we're just gonna toss in our mushrooms and our onions, toss that in there. I went ahead and cubed up the chicken, so I'll go ahead and toss the chicken in there. And then we're just gonna add the whole jar of sauce. Why not, right? But it is a little thin. Hmm. Must be that less calorie and less fat stuff. Hmm. Oh well. And then we're just gonna toss it around. Make sure to get everything nice and mixed up. Smells really good. All right, once you have that all tossed up, just put it into a, um, a like casserole dish or something, pop it in the fridge and you'll have lunch ready for the entire week. Add a little Parmesan on top for some smokiness. It already has a cheese sauce in it, so I don't think you need that much. There we go. And there you have it. That is a low carb blackened chicken Alfredo. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this edition of low carb cooking. If you did, make sure to comment down below, especially if you try this dish, I'd love to get your feedback on it. Or if you have any variations or other low carb treats that you'd like me to see me cook or see if I can give it a try, um, please comment down below. I'd love to hear about those. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday, my friends. Keep being awesome and I will see you later. Take care, bye.